I hope you are all well and healthy in the peace of God. I would like to continue to speak about the blessing that God has promised Abraham. The blessing that was promised was Jesus Christ. Last time I explained the reasons why we became further away from God. Only when we human beings who have been separated from God because of our sins return to God through the redemption of sin that is in Christ Jesus. Can we enjoy all the things that God has prepared for us? In Leviticus chapter 4, there is the process of the sin offering. Levi is Jacob's third son. The name Levi means unity. Leviticus explains to us how men who have departed from God because of sin can become reunited with him. We must resolve the problem of sin in order to reunite with God. The sin offering in Leviticus chapter 4 is what allows them to resolve this problem. Leviticus chapter 4 verse 28 Or if his sin which he hath sinned come to his knowledge, then he shall bring his offering a kid of the goats, a female without blemish. for his sin which he had sinned. The sin offering begins once you have the knowledge of this sin. Even if you sin but you are unable to realize this, then you would not therefore have the sin offering. That's why the sin offering can only take place once you have this realization. The Bible says that all humans are sinners. The Bible, however, does not state that we have become sinners because of we have sinned. It is because of our ancestor Adam that we have been born sinners. Romans chapter 5 verse 12 Wherefore, as by one man sin entered into the world, and death by sin, and so death passed upon all men, for all have sinned. It is because of the one man, Adam, that sin had entered the world and because we are his descendants, we had no choice but to inherit it. That's why we are born with this sin and therefore bear the fruits of this sin. There is no one in the world that does not sin. The Bible says that all have sinned. There are so many people in the world who have different nationalities, cultures, and personalities. All of them sin. Why is this? It is because we were born with sin as the descendants of Adam. Although we have never learned to commit sin, it comes to us so naturally because we are born with it. Before God, we are all sinners. Despite this, there are too few who know this and try to resolve the problem of sin. There are not many who realize their sins. God has given us tools, therefore, to help us. That tool is what we call the law. God gave us the law through Moses. The purpose of giving us this law is not for us to keep it. Rather, He wanted us to realize our sins through this law. Romans chapter 3, verse 20 Therefore, by the deeds of the law, there shall no flesh be justified in his sight. For by the law is the knowledge of sin. There is no one who can be justified before God through the law. God gave us laws that we cannot possibly keep. Why give us something that is impossible to keep? It is because it was not through this law that God wanted us to become justified. As soon as we try to keep the law, we discover very quickly that we cannot do so. We find ourselves who cannot keep the law. Why can't we keep the law? Matthew chapter 7 verse 18 says this, A good tree cannot bring forth evil fruit. Neither can a cropped tree bring forth good fruit. We are the cropped tree. Only Jesus is the good tree. 
Because we are the corrupt tree, we cannot help but produce evil fruit. Why can't we keep the law? It is because we are born as the corrupt tree. We are born as the descendants of Adam. God gave us the law for one reason, to discover ourselves who are such people. 3,500 years has passed since the law came down. There is no one over past 3,500 years who have kept this law, not even us. We were already sinners. We'll finish here and I will continue to speak about the law. Thank you.